Okay, so today I wanted to go over um, my security system that I have and uh, you can see here I have the real link um, camera and what I did here is we ran some power up to that box which I got um, on Amazon uh, on the conduit and we also ran some here the black wire here which is cat 6 outdoor cat 6 and then what's powering those cameras you can see the cables coming back in here to this box uh, that I also got on Amazon uh, but you can see the wire for the uh, real link comes back to this box. All right. So now that we have it open here, we can see what's going on. There's a lot of stuff going on. Uh, what's powering the POE cameras is uh, this switch right here. Um, and you can see um, I put a link to it, and everything was plugged into it. And uh, I crimped it with the uh, um, Cat 6 cable, outdoor Cat 6. And um, a thing on, the, on, on these crimps is I would never use regular crimps. I would use pass-through crimps and I'll put a link to that. Uh, this was such uh, a pain to get these uh, uh, crimps in here because on the Cat 6, the actual wires are a little thicker. So I ended up buying pass-through cables, um, or pass-through crimps, I should say, and it did the trick. So now that we have power, we have power here coming out of here on the switch, the POE switch, and the power is going to all the cameras and uh, that's how the uh, real links are working. So the way this is connected, uh, you can see um, I did two things here. I added uh, on this conduit coming from the box. Uh, this conduit here coming from the box uh, goes all the way down. And this, I did two things with this. I ran the black cables for the power over Ethernet, uh, the CAT6, and I ran power as well up there. So in case if I ever want to put a wireless camera, not a POE camera, I can do that. You can see there's one right there. There's a camera right there. And here you can see I have another um, real link uh, power over ethernet camera and uh, there's the reset up there and these do record voice so these real links they're five megapixel cameras they really work well for the most part um, they come with own proprietary software uh, that you can install um, on your android device it gives you access to all the clips that it was recorded um, I highly recommend them and I'll put the specs on there and I'll put more information like I said the only thing is uh, if you're gonna record back to a DVR you need their own proprietary DVR but I'm using uh, flash memory uh, but I have a 64 meg uh, flash in all of them and for me uh, on motion detection it does about five days worth of recording with no problem okay so when it comes to power options for your PoE camera there's really two choices you can either get a PoE switch or a PoE power injector but really uh, the switch is just a lot better right, in my opinion um, because it has multiple uses and I, and again it has multiple ports with the power injector you're still going to need to connect that to some kind of switch so if you have a PoE switch you can uh, you know uh, forego the injector and just have the uh, PoE switch which is going to save you money uh, and you can see the power injector here and it basically goes to AC and then there's an input and an output one for the power to the camera and the other one goes to your switch so if you avoid getting the injector and just got one switch, you have the device that does everything for you. All right, so here we have the uh, software, uh, the real link software for the desktop. And uh, I have multiple cameras here. I used to have a third one, but that one's not working right now. And uh, a note on that, I actually uh, emailed Real Link, and they're going to send me a new camera. Uh, the camera is guaranteed for a year or two, I believe. So if anything happens, you just uh, email them, and they send you a new one, which is great. But here you can see the view I have, uh, multi-view. And uh, we could switch just to uh, one camera if you wanted to which is what I'm doing here. A note on this is that when you're watching this live like I am here, you're seeing, um, you can hear the audio skip. And for whatever reason, when you put it on clear in HD, no matter if you have the best internet connection, you always get it skipping like this. If you go to the view uh, on here and you put it on balance, what it does is it compromises the quality, um, but it'll let you stream without any issues. Uh, so right now it's on clear. It's like the five megapixels. I believe it's on and even with the best connection that you you can you can hear the audio skipping So that's one of the things that they need to work on On here as well. You have access to all your recordings So I have my camera set to uh, motion once they see once they detect motion it records on uh, SD um, Memory stick that's inside the camera. The other option is to have it record to the proprietary DVR uh, or you can use the SD um, flash, which is what I'm using here. And you can see all those days here highlighted on the uh, right hand corner. That's how many days I have a video that's been recorded. So the SD uh, flash does hold uh, a lot of video clips. And I don't really think that you need the DVR. 
but you can see here at the bottom there is a timeline and you can go uh, anywhere in a timeline during the day and get those clips and download the clips um, it's really easy the software is really nice like the only problem I have again is on the software is that when you're watching this live on your phone or the desktop that sometimes the video slows down uh, when you have it on clear when you have it on full resolution either on four megapixels or five megapixels so sometimes you have to come here and switch it to uh, either fluent or balanced and balance like I said you're gonna comp compromise uh, some of that quality um, but the software itself is great okay so here we have the Android version and I imagine for um, iPhone it's probably the same thing but you know his uh, it's pretty simple to work with uh, and you can see the modes that I'm talking about here fluent balance and uh, I have it on four uh, megapixels on this one if you set it up to high resolution sometimes the video doesn't come through and you can see what I'm talking about here it tells me to switch to fluent because it was on high uh, resolution and it does that and it's kind of annoying I don't know why um, when you stream live you can't stream it at full resolution but it does give you a warning and it wants you to switch to a lesser resolution overall with these problems um, I do recommend the camera I think it's a really uh, good camera good software the video is pretty good and the company real link itself uh, seems like a legit company like I said they're gonna replace one of my uh, cameras that uh, malfunctioned and no questions asked I sent the old one back and they're sending me a new one which is great as always, if you enjoyed this video and you learned something from it, please check out my channel and subscribe.